Hello guys and welcome for this new tutorial. In this new tutorial, I will introduce you a really good software to find articles from expired domains. This software is called Expired Article Hunter. It's a very, very useful software if you want to find content for your website. In this first part, I will introduce you the software and in the second part, I will show you how to use it. So, this software is a Windows software. It will allow you to get articles from millions expired domains in just some clicks. This software is very easy to use. You just have to enter your keywords and the tool will do the job. And the other plus of this tool is that it's a one-time fee, only $47. This tool will save you a lot of time. So, it's okay. I will now show you how to use the software. Okay, so after you have installed and launched it, <laughs> you have this window. And as you can see, the window is divided into two parts. The first one, it's a list of articles you will get by the software. And at the other side, you have settings. This software is easy to use. All settings is managed easily. Firstly, you can set up number of articles you want to get, minimum words, number of threads, and the paths you want to use for save the articles. And you can here browse and you can save the articles where you want. I will save in my route. If you have Copyscape API, you can use it here. It will check if articles are duplicate or no. The other setting is really interesting. If you have a WordPress website, you can directly use the tool for posting the articles to your website. You just have to enter your informations here. You can post as draft or publish them. And finally, it's a very important setting, is proxies. I recommend you to use proxies to get better results. You can use proxies, by example, from services such as byteproxies.org. After you manage the settings, you have to enter your keywords, so you go here, add here, and you can scrap domain with this tool. Let me show you. So I enter my keywords here, so I will enter cooking, cooking recipe, recipe. cooking video, and you can enter as many as you want, and you can also import directly your keyword list. And after that, you do scrape domains. Okay, so after you have done that, you just have to click on Hunt button, and it will scrape for all domain, and you just have to wait. And if these domains have articles, you will have them here. So just here, and with the word cunt. So that's all folk. Um, thank you a lot for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this and see you later. Bye bye.